Hey guys, hey, this is Dr. Ray Moharis, and you're here on Everything Physical Therapy. We're excited to bring you this channel because it's, uh, it's something that I love um, to give information to, to my patients, to people off the street. Uh, sometimes my wife tells me to shut the hell up. But um, anyway, uh, it's, it's, a specific, uh, it's a specific channel um, for uh, Everything Physical Therapy. Today, we're going to be using big devices to help mobilize the AC joint. It's a very important joint in, in the shoulder. Sometimes it could be the primary issue that we're dealing with and it can go ahead and cause other issues to generate. An AC issue is, is actually one of the leading causes for a supraspinous rotator cuff tear and it can eventually lead to a full rupture or a full, uh, full thickness tear. Hopefully I can give you some, some information on what we do in clinic to help to rectify a problematic AC joint. Now this specific uh, incident is, is an impingement, a shoulder impingement. It's where there's not enough space between two moving parts um, that's not allowing the orthokinematic arth action of a specific joint to happen. Now, if you have the inability to raise your arm up freely, okay, and if it's causing you pain when you sleep at night onto the shoulder, it may be an issue of what we call an impingement. So what do we do in clinic? Well, sometimes we ask individuals, no, not to beat your shoulder up. Please don't do that. Um, but we do use tools to give ourselves a mechanical advantage to actually help to loosen all those deposits within that articulating surface, okay? Sometimes an impingement is something we just kind of have to move a little bit to get the space necessary to allow it to decrease the inflammation. Pretty simple, right? Let me show you a couple techniques that we use in-house when we ask patients to do at home, okay? We're gonna use a stretching band. The stretching band's gonna go ahead and go on the floor. We're gonna place this directly over the clavicle, right onto that joint. Bend our knees a little bit to take slack away. Or just take the slack onto the shoulder, and as we stand, we're gonna get a better purchase on that shoulder, okay? You see how it's kind of clamping down on it. Now from here, I'm gonna take my unaffected side, my right side is gonna stay put or pull slightly, okay? To get a mobilization or rotation from the clavicle onto the chromium process to almost twist it or glide it anteriorly to get some space between that joint. Cool? Pretty easy, right? You should do this at least three times a day, roughly about five uh, mobilizations. So one, two, three, four, five. Rest, go about your business, come back again in a couple hours and repeat. Just trying to get a little bit more mobility back in that AC joint. Now, half inch diameter steel rod. This is gonna be placed onto our stretching band with the hand hole. We're gonna place this almost like a hobo with a sack directly on to our shoulder. Don't be, don't be too aggressive. Just, just enough to go ahead and feel a little bit of pressure on the top of that joint. Now you are not to do this if you're suspecting a fracture on your shoulder, okay, on your clavicle. Do not use a steel rod on your clavicle if it's broken. Please, up and down up and down. Perform three times, roughly about, about three sets of 10, pushing it down, letting go of the pressure, pushing it down, letting go of the pressure, pushing it down. Allowing the clavicle to go ahead and move gently down, breaking up any adhesion, scar tissue, any type of mineral deposits directly onto the joint. Okay? So those are the two techniques that we ask our patients to do. Hopefully you found some value with it or halfway and amusing. But like I said before, if you guys, if this is your first time here and if you like the content and if you find some information that's useful in your daily life, please um, uh, subscribe or hit that subscribe button for me. Um, let's me know that you guys are interested and we can go ahead and actually get some more uh, videos out to you. But uh, until then, um, stay safe y'all and keep moving.